Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking. Welcome back to my series of looking at 51 worldwide games in a little bit more detail. This video is going to be featuring billiards and specifically nine ball pool. Now this is quite a nice version of pool, although a little bit simplistic, so I thought it'd be a good idea to show off. Now the biggest omission in the game is definitely the lack of any spin or English, as I believe uh, my American buddies will call it. So that really takes away from sort of how in depth the physics can be in this game, which is a little bit of a shame. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have been against seeing uh, just a little easy spin meter, but you know, these are little simple, quick to play games. As the apparently amazing AI just slams the cue ball into the pocket, which is a little bit odd. Um, so this is nine ball pool. If you know uh, how to play nine ball pool, need to pop the numbers in uh, the balls in number order. So uh, one to n well one to eight, and then finishing on the nine ball. Uh, you can pop the nine ball any time as long as you hit the lowest numbered ball on the table first. So for example, you could hit the one ball into the nine ball and then the nine ball goes in the pocket and you would instantly win the game so my opponent is working through the numbers now he's just potted the one ball so he's got the blue two ball up next should be an easy pot but isn't and again this is apparently the amazing ai doesn't seem that amazing at the moment i've beaten the other two ai but again this is a a little bit like darts this is kind of the oof, the uh, the sort of game that's going to work much better online than against the AI, I would have thought. As I've really tucked up the AI there by <laughs> leaving the two ball right in the corner and then putting the cue ball way down the table. Yeah, and they can't escape without fouling. So yeah, as I say, there's no spin, which is a little bit of a shame. Controls are fairly basic, so you just move the cue with uh, up and down on the Joy-Con, and then when you're ready to hit shot, you press A, and you just pull the left stick back for as far as you want the shot to go. So the more you pull it back, the more power it will have in the shot. So moving on to the three ball. Oh dear, that wasn't a good shot. Um, yeah, if they could have had a little bit more. I mean, a lot of these games probably feel like if they could have been fleshed out a little bit more, then they would be amazing as just standalone games. As it is, I would say that the uh, the billiards, as fun as it is, and it is a nice little diversion, it's a little bit too simplistic if you're really into your snooker and pool games um, to be considered something that's uh, has any depth at all. But you know, as I say, as a fun little diversion, it's okay. Especially really if you've got a uh, younger uh, people or non-gamers that you're playing with it might be perfect for them because obviously they've only got to worry about aiming and power as we chase the four ball around the table again it seems to be uh, inadvertently tucking up the AI at different opportunities so thankfully it left me one on here we can roll this in Oh. In it goes onto the five ball. So it's the orange, which sits nice into the top. And then we want to be thinking of sinking the six ball, which is just to the left of the orange. So hopefully we'll come off at a nice angle here for the six. Oh, I didn't want the double kiss on the nine, but it's okay. We got away with it. So we're going to go for the six. The seven is the purple ball in the bottom right hand corner. See, this is where the lack of spin is going to cost cost us here, because we're going to just pretty much scratch the cue ball into the middle pocket by potting the six. Mm, if we'd have got a better angle on the six, though, I think the white would have gone in. So it leaves it open for the area. An easy six, a fairly easy seven. I don't know where they're going. Come on, six. There you go. Um. So if this AI is amazing, you'd expect them to wrap up from here. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. There's not too many good pool games out on the Switch. But 
Uh, the AI seems a bit ropey, to be honest. Oh, is that seven going? It does drop in. Played a really bizarre shot there, which is quite strange. Seems to be having problems. See, look, why is... Well, that was bizarre, wasn't it? What? Why are they taking a double shot? So again, if you're going to be uh, looking to play pool, I would be looking at playing people online. It's going to be one of the more popular games to play online. Get in that hole. Um, Cause you know, people just love pool games. So I think you will never have problems finding an online game. We just need to sink the nine ball now to win the game. Easier said than done. Boy, do I feel foolish. But the AI is probably going to go around seven cushions here and miss it completely. Oh dear. Well, hopefully this time we can put it away <laughs> and uh, end the misery. Here we go. Is the white going in? It's not going in. So there you go. That is Billiards on uh, 51 Worldwide Classics on the uh, or Worldwide Games on the Nintendo Switch. Just going to have a quick look at the variations available on this one. The amazing AI, which I've found less than amazing. There's normal, hard, amazing, impossible. And you can choose um, turn order, and then you can play eight or nine ball pool. There's also something here called simple rules, where there's, I think it may just be red and yellow. I've not played that one. I won't play the simple rules one, but there you go. So you can play nine ball or eight ball. To be honest, when I've been looking for online games, most people have been looking to play eight ball. Um, it always seems to be the way with pool games, but there you go. If you like eight ball or nine ball pool, then at least you've got something here to give you a little bit of a diversion. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're new. It'd be really appreciated. But until next time, I will see you guys again soon. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.